Hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we are going to be talking about something I've probably gotten a hundred emails about in the last month. Um, by the way, uh, I want to make one comment. I've had several people ask me, hey man, if I'm bothering you or if I'm a nuisance emailing you, please let me know. I won't badger you. Um, you are not a nuisance, any of you. You're not a nuisance at all. I do get a lot of emails and I try to answer them as timely as I possibly can. But please don't misconstrue my lack of timeliness for a lack of the feeling of how important you are to this channel. You are valuable to this channel and I want to get your questions answered as quickly as I can. And because of the number of uh, comments that I, or, and because of the number of emails that I have gotten on trailers, trailer harnesses and trailer hitches, I figured I could just round up all of the information and try to give it to you as usable and combined format as I possibly can. And I really thought about breaking this up into three videos and I'm not sure that I won't expand on some of these thoughts later on, but we're gonna divide everything up. We're gonna do one video, we're gonna divide it up into three things and we're gonna do it in this order. We're gonna do the trailer, then we're gonna do the hitch, and then we're gonna talk about the harness. So those are the three things that we're going to talk about. I've got my notes right here in front of me, and I'm going to pick what I think are five reasonable trailers. Some, when you look at them, they're going to be a little nicer. They're going to be a little more pricey than others. Some are going to be very, very reasonably priced, and they are completely functional for what you are doing on the Spider. So I'm going to call these things out, and as I call them out, I don't want you to think, man, I got this and he doesn't like that, or, or, or people think I got a junky trailer. No, that's not, that's not how it is. So without further ado, let's talk some trailer trash. All right, so the first brand of trailers we're gonna talk about is Time Out. Yep, Time Out trailers. They are sold by Bill's Trailer Sales in Daytona, Florida. Now Bill's, uh, they sell all kinds of trailers for you know hauling your motorcycles behind a vehicle, and they sell pull along trailers that go behind motorcycles and spiders. Now, the timeout trailers, they have a little trailer called the Ion. I think the trailer looks really, really nice. I'm gonna see if I can't post pictures of these things as I do this, but the Ion by Bill's Trailers starts at $2,195. You heard that, $2,195. It's really not a bad price for a trailer. If it looks like my eyes are averting, it's because I am looking at data right here in front of me. Don't think that I'm like just wondering. <laughs> but anyway, so the Ion trailer looks nice. Um, as far as the description and things, they don't give me a whole lot of description on here. But looking at it, I have seen this particular trailer in person. It looks good. It would certainly meet the need if you were needing a place to carry extra baggage and stuff. It wasn't quite big enough for Coach Vic and I when we were looking at the wheelchair thing um, because the wheelchair is larger. Uh, they have a trailer, another one, called the XL1800 and the XLHD. Now, I'm going to bring up the XLHD. And the XLHD was absolutely large enough for the trailer, for the uh, wheelchair to fit in, it's $2,395. So $2,400, certainly not a bad price. It comes with a little luggage rack on top of it. Um, it's a solid little trailer, it's not fancy, but bang for the buck, 2,400 bucks for a pretty nice trailer with nice looking wheels, would certainly meet your needs. Um, it, it has, some really neat little features on it, but they're not premium features. It's not a premium trailer. It's a trailer that will simply meet your need. You can get on the road for $2,400 for the XLHD and for $2,200 with the Ion. Now they have camper trailers as well. The camper trailers are that $5,000 category. So that's Bill's trailers out of Daytona Beach. Also. Down below, I will have a link to each of these companies. So if you want to go to their web pages and look at them, 
It will be in the description of the video in a link format. You can go to those web pages and look at these things for yourself. Now, next up, we have a Canadian company. And no, it's not BRP. It's Lug and Roll. Now, Lug and Roll, there's, I think it's Canuck Spider, and there are some other folks online. But I've seen these trailers online. I've not put my hands on one. But I do like a lot of the features that they have, and I like the the uh, idea that they have a little rack for it where you can stand it upright. And the Can-Am Freedom Trailer, they don't make that for the Freedom Trailer anymore. There are some workarounds where you can do that, but the Lug and Roll actually has a little cage that you can take that trailer and stand it up vertically so when you're storing it, it's not occupying all of the floor space in your garage. Now the Lug and Roll trailer is very, very reasonably priced. So the Lug and Roll is $2,100. It is 24 cubic feet of storage, so it's plenty of room in the darn thing. It's big, it's got nice wheels on it. Uh, you can get the little luggage rack and everything, has some options for it. You can get a little luggage rack on it, um, spare tire, uh, cover, carpet, uh, different anchors, sport lights. There's a lot of accessories and options that you can put on this trailer that honestly BRP doesn't offer. And I think for the money, you certainly cannot go wrong. $2,100 for the lug and roll. Now they make another one that I thought this was pretty cool. It's called the, the Lug B2B. Now this particular trailer, it's a little more pricey at $2,840, but still well under the BRP one. Now this thing also 24 cubic feet. However, it has a flat top on it and you can put bike racks on top of it which for us to be able to cut, put Coach Vic's wheelchair on top, we could possibly do that. And that would save us from disassembling the wheelchair and all that stuff. We're gonna stick with what we have, but this is definitely, if you've got a, a person in a wheelchair, this is a definite, definite viable option for you that could save you a lot of assembly and disassembly type stuff. And if you wanna carry bicycles, this is a great way to do it. And it is the lug and roll B2B. Very nice looking trailer. I'll have some pictures, hopefully, like I said, up and about. Make sure if you're interested in the lug and roll product, check it out below. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of details on these trailers because if I did, this video would be an hour long. Now, next is a company called the USA Trailer Store. Now, this trailer store, I spoke with these people and Coach Vic and I were looking very seriously at some trailers for this company. These guys were really nice, very knowledgeable, and very helpful on the phone. They were willing to FaceTime and Zoom call and make measurements right there with you looking and, and just really provide an excellent service. I thought that was really, really cool. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at their motorcycle trailer. Now, when I start looking at their trailers, they have a, a trailer called the Lumina, and it's the diamond plate. That trailer's $15.99. The storage capacity is enormous on that thing. And I'm going to bring it up right now. Uh, right now, it is on sale for $15.99. Uh, the sale ends, it says, in just a few hours. So <laughs> probably too late. Not, not enough to help you on this one. But they have a lot of nice videos on their trailers because they are a direct shipping manufacturer. They build the trailer and they send it to you. So they're very, very nice. They, they don't mind taking the time with you. But the, um, the Lumina... Uh, is a really, really nice trailer, heavy duty, and it's got the little uh, place up front on the tongue for the cooler. It, it, it's, a, it's, a sol it's a solid trailer. The trailer that I liked a lot when I was looking at trailers was the Heritage. Now the Heritage made my short list and it really came down between this trailer and the BRP. And, and I'm gonna be quite frank with you, I often, think that I might should have bought this trailer. This is a good good price on this trailer, $2,900, $2,899. And the trailer is nice. Uh, you can, it has some options and features on it that are solid, uh, nice wheels on it. Um, I mean, it's it's nice. It, just, it comes in two colors. It comes in black. It comes in white. That's it. But the uh, Freedom Trailer, when I bought it, only came in black anyway. So 
that certainly didn't make a difference. And if you're a two-wheeler, they have the Heim joint and the standard coupler. In other words, it's where the joint will pivot so that when you're leaning on a motorcycle, that that won't become a problem. Now, the K&M Freedom Trailer, for those who are motorcycle guys, you'd have to figure a workaround on that. The, the Little Heritage Trailer is really a nice, nice trailer that they make at USA Trailer Store. Another trailer that USA Trailer Store, and, and, and I really highly recommend you go on there and look at their trailers because they do have a lot of stuff. Um, they have one called the Discovery. The Discovery is $3,000, but it's a big trailer and it has a nice little cooler box on it and everything. It looks really, really nice. Um, for three grand, you just cannot go wrong with that trailer. So it has the coupler and the Heim joint swivels. It has a tubular chassis, 16-inch wheels. It, it has a nice four-pin connector. Uh, carpeted interior. Yes, carpeted interior. The Freedom Trailer, no, 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 does not. So the Discovery is very, very nice. There was one other trailer on here, the Blackhawk trailer. I really like this trailer as well. It's like the older Can-Am trailers. You have a front compartment area that you can open up and a rear compartment area that you can open up and it has a cooler on it. That trailer is $2,400. Really, really nice trailer. So be sure to go to the USA Trailer Store. They've got a lot of stuff. If you're just looking for a trailer for a motorcycle or for a spider and you don't want to spend a ton of money, but you want to get something with real bang for your buck, if you're in the States, I think that the USA Trailer Store, you just can't go wrong. And probably up in Canada with the uh, Lug and Roll Company, you probably just cannot go wrong. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the Can-Am Freedom Trailer. I'm very familiar with that because I own one. I have a 2019 Can-Am Freedom Trailer. It is the same year as my Can-Am Spider RT, non-limited version. Um, I have the BRP hitch, BRP wiring harness, and it's dependable. It's worked well for me. Now, that said, for the bang for the buck. I am looking online at BRP Freedom Trailers. The new trailer has gone up. I'm seeing them as high $4,000 and as low as $3,800. If you go back to a 2019 trailer and buy some new old stock, they, they got them for three grand. Several corporations, you know, sales companies across the country, you can get the Freedom Trailer 2019 like the one I have for $2,999 all day long. It's just, it is just available right now. So the Freedom Trailer, you can look at the videos that we've done. I'll try to drop some cards in in the video up here where you can look at where we put a floor in our trailer with, to cushion it for the wheelchair. We put carpet in there. Um, we've made the trailer a little more functional for us. But it really is a no-frills, bare-bones, but a good quality trailer. The suspension is solid. The, the design is a solid little design. It, it, we haven't had any water leaking issues. It, it, it's a solid little trailer. I, I cannot put down the BRP Freedom Trailer at all. Now, BRP did have the older, the uh, RT622 trailer. Uh, those little trailers are nice. Uh, they're older, like I said. Those things are still selling for 3,500 bucks. And the, the trailers that I own, um, people are selling these things for three grand secondhand. They're, they're not really depreciating. Now we're gonna talk about a company that I think is the premium trailer. It, it, it just, to me, when you look at a trailer and you go, I want the best fit and finish, I want quality wheels, I want quality suspension, everything on it I want done superlative, bush tech. Bush Tech makes some really nice trailers. They are not cheap, but you wouldn't expect them to be. So the cargo trailer, the Roadstar, which is a nice looking trailer, is $4,000, $39.99. So it's definitely more expensive than the Freedom Trailer. They have an air ride, no bounce, suspension, and they say it gives you a smooth ride on all types of roads. I'm gonna tell you, pulling the Freedom Trailer behind the Spider. I've never experienced any major bounce, but I do believe 
that the ride would be even more wonderful if that's possible with the bush tech my biggest issue half the time is just remembering that the trailer's there if that tells you what it does to me the bush tech they also have a trailer called the uh, explorer the explorer is a very very nice trailer and it darn well should be 5,900 reasons that it should be really nice because that's what it costs $5,899 um, super super nice trailer they color match it for the um, for the gold wings but there again the air ride no bounce suspension eight spoke mag wheels uh, puncture resistant tires full interior carpet and of course bush tech quality and performance right uh, which is what you would expect so there are five trailer manufacturers i don't believe you can go wrong with any of those in fact i think you would be more than satisfied with any of those you have to look at them put your hands on them and determine what you want i'll tell you as we approach the end of the video why we got what we did and what our motives and thoughts were behind all right, so we are going to combine harnesses and hitches into one category. The reason for that is these companies that sell these, I think that if you, for me anyway, if I'm going to buy the BRP trailer hitch, I'm going to get the BRP wiring harness. If I'm going to buy the Can-Am Spider Accessories trailer hitch, I'm going to buy the Can-Am Spider Accessories wiring harness. So that being said, let's start out with Can-Am Spider Accessories out of Canada. Now, Pierre is super quick on a shipping, does a great job, and so you can't go wrong doing business with him. Now, he has trailer hitches for the spiders ranging all the way back to 2010, all the way up to 2021. So the trailer hitch, if you were to just buy the hitch, is $419.95. And if you want it with a wiring harness, it will run you $469.95. $470 for a trailer hitch and a harness for a 2018 to 2021 Spider. That's what it's going to cost you. Now understand this, that when, when you purchase a harness, what is that harness going to look like? Is it going to be a four pin connector? It's going to be a flat connector. I would say don't get bogged down in that too deep. Because really what they do is they have adapters that you can make it a traditional four pin, a traditional flat pin, whatever you want to do, um, depending on the type of trailer you buy. So don't get too bogged down. And when they say it's a square pin, it's a flat pin, it's a this pin, it's a that. Don't get all beat up over that. You can buy adapters for that stuff and it will work just fine. So for 470 bucks from K&M Spider Accessories, I don't think you can go wrong. It's a good deal. It's a solid piece of work. Um, I think that's what John from John and Miriam's Travel Vlogs, I believe that's what he put on his spider. Um, so there you have that. That's, that's Can-Am Spider Accessories. I'll have some links down below. Now, if you peruse the Le Monster webpage, what you're going to find is that he sells the trailer hitch made by Big Bike Parts, and he has a trailer harness. The trailer harness for the years 2010 through 2019 uh, RTs is $68. Um, so you can definitely do pretty well with that. Now for the 2020-2021 models, the uh, trailer hitch is going to run you $255 on sale right now, normally $299. And the trailer harness is going to run you $72.20. It's going to run you around $330 roughly. Um, so for the big bike parts, you can get uh, the hitch and harness reasonably very very reasonably sling mods offers pretty much the same thing the show chrome which is big bike parts 240 bucks basically for the uh, hitch same price as la monster basically and the the harness is roughly the same so that's where you are on sling mods and la monster they're selling the big bike parts stuff and you've got can-am spider accessories he makes his own those things look really really heavy duty now let's look at the BRP. Now I am going to tell you the BRP products, they are not cheap. The trailer hitch and, and control module, which is your little wiring harness, 
$709.99. That's where you are. Uh, the Spider trailer now, um, the Freedom trailer, they do have some new accessories for it that are nice. They have a nice cover for it, which they did not make before. They have a little striping kit that they make now that you can get for it. Um, they have a four pin adapter harness so that if you have a different adapter, you can, you can adapt that. They also have a premium carpet thing that you can buy on top of the trailer. It basically, it just drops in, it's 280 bucks. So there are accessories for the k and Freedom trailer that are around now that weren't around. But if you're gonna buy the hitch and harness through BRP, plan on spending a pretty penny. And that's what we did. Now, when we got ours, I think it was 660 bucks, 650 bucks, something like that. That was the installed price. So why did I go with the BRP? Why would I spend extra money when I could get virtually the same thing through other manufacturers? Good question. Now, I'm gonna give you maybe a not so good answer. I decided to take the chicken crap way out because I said, I know what will definitely work with the Spider. I know if I go with BRP products, I know if I go with the BRP hitch and harness, I know if I go with the BRP trailer, it is all going to work well together because it was designed together. I was worried about slinging some weird code. I was worried about being stranded on the road somewhere. I was afraid that Coach Vic and I would be in the middle of the desert going to California and we would get stranded because I was too cheap and had to buy something that wasn't really designed specifically for the spider. Is that paranoia? It could be paranoia on my part. I'm not saying that it isn't. Is the BRP hitch and harness superior to the other products? Probably not, but I can tell you this, it hasn't let me down. So understand that when you buy something that is specifically made for your machine by the company that designed your machine, you're gonna pay more for it. You just are. It doesn't make it fun. It doesn't make it good. It just makes it the way it is. And if you wanna stick with that brand, I think that is a, I think it's, a, it's an intelligent decision. That's not saying that it's an unintelligent decision not to. The Bush Tech trailer, I'm telling you, the quality on the Bush Tech is far superior to the BRP trailer. It, it is not even close. It is night and day. So the Bush Tech, if you want a really, really nice trailer, you cannot go wrong with a Bush Tech. But I love our little K&M Freedom trailer, and I have no buyer's remorse whatsoever. We paid $3,000 for that trailer. We paid cash for it. They gave us a pretty good deal on the, the hitch and harness. Like I said, we there were no installation fees and we bought the trailer and they ordered all that stuff. They did everything right there. They did it quick and efficiently and they really treated us right. We were very, very pleased with the service that we got through, through the dealer that did that, which was up in Columbus, Georgia. Uh, we couldn't find anything local. But the BRP stuff, I think you're gonna you're gonna be okay if you do anything, but I know you're gonna be okay if you go with the BRP stuff. You just are. So there you have it: trailers, harnesses, hitches. Is there a short-term, easy, simple answer? But yes, there is. You can't go wrong sticking with the brand. But you're not. I don't believe you're gonna go wrong anyway. Hopefully, this is either clarified it big time or made the water really, really murky and has given you information for you to consume so that you can go online and make an excellent decision for you and your needs and the needs of you and your passenger on the back of your spider if you have one and also what all you're going to carry. So now you have the knowledge and knowledge is power. So there it is. So I want you to do me a favor, go out, by the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. Now we will see you on the road real soon. Go seize the day.